It's time for City Beat, your source for all the latest news on the city of Thompson, only on 610 CHTN. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of City Beat. I'm your host, Bradley Carp, joined in studio by the mayor of the city of Thompson, Tim Johnston, and we will be taking your call, 677-8181. We'll give Mayor Johnston right off the bat a couple of minutes to go over some highlights from city council this past week. Thank you and good morning. Just a couple of quick uh, highlights on some of the activities over the last week. Uh, on Monday, we held our regular meeting of City Council. One of the things I'd like to highlight is that we did get uh, uh, final approval for the bylaw regarding secondary suites, so that will now come into effect. I'd encourage anyone that may be looking at uh, um, or considering a secondary suite to contact the City of Thompson, as well as Thompson Neighbourhood Renewal Corporation may be able to provide some assistance on on any our information on any assistance that could be available for renovations through the province. On Tuesday, uh, we had the opportunity uh, to have uh, the Deputy Minister responsible for mining in the province of Manitoba, uh, Deputy Minister Doak, visit Thompson. Uh, he was recently appointed, and so we wanted to take the opportunity to uh, have him visit the community. We certainly had a chance as City Council to sit down with him and talk about uh, uh, where we're at in terms of uh, the future of our community. And, uh, and then I believe he also had a tour of the uh, valet plant site. I, uh, we had, took the opportunity to update on the Thompson Economic Diversification Working Group and some of the achievements to date and some of the expectations that we have. Uh, we also obviously took the chance to uh, uh, encourage the province of Manitoba to support Valley in terms of any capital investment uh, 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 regarding the, uh, the plant site that we have and uh, it was a very good meeting. On Wednesday, we had another visitor. Uh, we had the uh, Manitoba Government Employees Union, uh, John Burt, in town, and we had the opportunity to talk about the Northern Restorative Justice Facility, of which they wanted to meet and uh, talk about the proposal that we put in through the Thompson Economic Diversification Working Group. I can tell you it was a very uh, positive meeting, and uh, we've agreed to work uh, cooperatively uh, in terms of uh, um, uh, encouraging the province of Manitoba to look at the uh, development of that Northern Restorative Justice Justice facility in uh, uh, Thompson. So I was very pleased with the support we received from the MGU and uh, I certainly look forward to working with them in the future. On Thursday morning today I had the opportunity to speak at a session uh, held at the uh, uh, R.D. Parker uh, for all teaching uh, professionals in Thompson. Um, the session was on treaties and treaty relationships. I really want to commend and thank the school district of Mystery Lake, uh, the board, administration and specifically the teaching staff for uh, taking this opportunity and holding a uh, professional development session on this topic. Uh, as I've said many times, the future of uh, Thompson uh, will largely uh, be based on the relationships that we have with uh, uh, First Nation people in and around uh, our community and in northern Manitoba, as well as uh, uh, other Aboriginal groups, including Métis, Inuit. So I was very pleased, and uh, I see this as a very uh, positive step. A couple of reminders uh, before we go into some questions. Of course, uh, spring cleanup is well underway. I'm pleased with the results so far. The weather has been cooperating regarding street cleaning and some of those other things. Again, encourage caution and care in and around our crews. Reminder, uh, this Friday, May 11th, the corporate cleanup will be uh, hosted by the Chamber of Commerce. Encourage uh, businesses to get out and support uh, the cleanup and uh, have them uh, call the Chamber for more details. May 12th is the community cleanup. Uh, all day, Robins Donuts appreciate their support. Again, uh, we will be providing the uh, the bags, the gloves, and uh, people will uh, uh, be able to go out, collect uh, the litter, and be uh, and receive three dollars per bag. So it's a great event. I really appreciate uh, the support of the community. This is all about community pride. So uh, again, uh, encourage people to get out. And then lastly, in terms of a reminder, on Monday, May 14th, uh, the City of Thompson, along with many other stakeholders, will be doing a uh, media uh, conference uh, at 5 p.m. on the uh, green lawn adjacent to the post office regarding the downtown strategy and specifically the 2012 action plan. So those are some of the things we've been busy with over the last week and some of the upcoming ones. And... Uh, I'd welcome any questions the uh, listeners may have. Okay, thank you very much, Mayor Johnson. With that, we'll go to the phone, 677-8181. If you have a question for the Mayor, Tim Johnson, we do have a caller on the line. Gordon, what's your question? Yeah, good morning, Tim. Yeah, morning. I live in a bird trailer court, and uh, it's starting to get a little dusty uh, when it don't rain. And that's, and that's, well, last year, you put uh, the city put some tree sap on, or what did you put on for gut dust control in the bird trailer court? I know they have a dust control uh, substance that we do apply, and... Uh, um, 
I'm not aware, obviously we haven't been in there yet, I can certainly check with Public Works, but that is part of our regular uh, routine to try and keep that dust down. 677-8181, phone lines are now open. We are taking your questions right here on City Beat directly to the Mayor of the City of Thompson, Tim Johnston. 677-8181, anything relating to the City, Public Works, uh, anything that falls under the jurisdiction of the Mayor and his Council. And I had a couple of questions emailed in to me, Tim. This question comes from Anne. What are the holes and the general trail on Millennium Trail going to be filled in? Uh, good question. I appreciate it. I know we've had a number of concerns expressed to uh, the Rec Department and City Hall in general regarding the condition of the Millennium Trail trail. Um, I know that the rec committee is meeting on Tuesday at lunch. Uh, it's been referred to them. Our expectation is that the trail um, it receives the care and maintenance. It's one of the most popular recreation activities we have. I know coming out of the winter it takes us a little bit of time. We've been concentrating on, uh, on the streets and the roads, but I can assure people that uh, we see the Millennium Trail as one of our real assets and uh, the Recreation Department has been asked to put together a plan to ensure that we're out there. I understand there's some problem with the gates. I understand the surface is, uh, is, uh, has to be addressed as well as there's a number of fallen trees in, in and around the trail. So I can tell you that uh, we are addressing it. I just want to go back to the, the question previously on the Brentwood Trailer Court as well uh, and, and Gordon and that is that uh, the other thing that's going to solve ultimately in the long run is uh, is continuing to move forward with asphalting the Burnwood Trailer Court. To me that is the ultimate um, uh, address and you know we've continued to have to apply that surface and I'm going to go and, and ask Public Works to give me an update on when that will be applied uh, as a part of our regular maintenance but it's 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 critical because those are operating costs that we would not have if we move forward and complete the asphalting of the trailer court. That's my ultimate goal. In the meantime, we'll make sure we're doing the regular maintenance. And with that, I'll ask you the question, when could Thompsonites possibly expect to have the Burnwood Trailer Court fully paved? Well, this year what we have in their budget is some uh, dollars, and I understand uh, we've asked uh, a consulting firm to bring us the drainage plan. We'll concentrate on drainage, and what I had said in the past, what we did last year was a pilot. I'm extremely pleased with how that came through the winter. I've driven it a number of times. Um, for me... It gives us a green light to continue. We're going to do some uh, drainage work this summer, and I hope to continue. I'll be honest, I believe it's likely a three- to five-year plan to get it done unless we go out and issue a debenture and do it all at once. It's going to depend on do we have paving crews in town that we can maybe get a cost. But my hope would be, and I said this previously, uh, um, I think in the la leading up to the last election, I said within eight years, I think we're well within that, and I would hope to beat it, probably five. Okay, and I have another question that was emailed in to me today. Safe operations, where does the city stand as of right now? Well, safe operations is a principle of the city of Thompson. It's one of uh, uh, those things contained within our strategic plan. Um, we encourage our employees to practice safe operations. I know that there's times when uh, uh, issues arise. I'd encourage the public where those arise to please contact us. We take out safe operations extremely seriously because our most valuable asset are our employees, and we want to make sure they're operating in a safe environment, both for themselves as well as the public at large. Where can Thompsonites bring up safe operation concerns? What's the phone number? I would suggest that they communicate directly with City Manager uh, Sepatelli, and uh, that number is 677-7910. Now, the key to the TRCC was supposed to be handed over to the city this week. Has that been done? The key, we have received the Thompson Regional Community Centre. I had a chance to walk through it as late as yesterday afternoon. Um, we are now working on the deficiencies uh, from the construction. Uh, they were doing just some of the final flooring in the... Uh, the uh, Hall of Fame uh, area and um, our walkway and uh, I'm telling you I am just so impressed with it I know some people have had a chance to take a look at it it's uh, it, it really is something we will be moving over our rec uh, department I believe starting uh, next week uh, following which we'll gradually bring on different programming into the facility but uh, uh, my sense is that uh, people will start uh, using that facility within the next couple of weeks for uh, uh, some of the programs that we have in uh, planned. Now I know a lot of Thompsonites are looking forward to having another place to work out and another wellness center here in town because Better Body is all the way on the other end of town and people who live closer to the TRCC and may not have a card is a bit of a walk. Um, how are negotiations going right now to have someone fill in that spot? Well, the tender closed for the uh, the fitness area, The uh, I think, uh, last week. So they are now being reviewed. 
I anticipate, and we did get a response, and I was very pleased with that, so they'll be reviewed and we'll move forward. And um, again, those sorts of programmings, we're looking at the grand opening in September to have those in place. The two areas that we went out for tender, one was on the concession, one was obviously on the, uh, the wellness area, and uh, we're working on those. So the other one that I just want to point out, there's been some discussion about uh, the Thompson Regional Community Centre and the cost. I got to tell you, on Monday we re received a report on, at Council we beat the time schedule and we beat the cost estimates for that project. And I just want people to know, it was not a case of us taking money away from other projects to spend there. The Thompson Regional Community Centre was funded by contributions from the senior levels of government through recreation funding programming. So the notion that we took money from streets to put into the rec centre is not entirely true. Yes, the city had to make a contribution, but we would not have been eligible for the federal provincial contributions for that project to fix roads. So when we do things, believe uh, me, we, we take a hard look at where our resources are and how do we get the best bang for the buck. If you can spend 33 cents dollars to get a project like that done, you're far better in terms of, uh, of getting it done and moving on to where funding may be available for other sources. I think we have time for just one last question. Don is manning the phone here, so I'll, we'll wait quickly for him. And who are we speaking with? Who's on City Beat? Who's this? Hello? Hello? Could you ask your question? Yeah. I am looking to see if um, the mayor has plans. Can you ask your question? Yeah. I am looking to see if um, the mayor has plans to pave Cree Road where it's not paved. Pave, could you pave Cree Road? Could you turn down your radio, please? Pave Cree Road? I, I missed that last part. I apologize because I couldn't catch the whole question. I can tell you that the capital paving program, which we went to tender on, and we got. We beat our pricing, another good news story. Uh, the capital paving program for this year will be uh, Thompson Drive South from Mystery Lake Road to, I believe it's uh, uh, Oak Street. Because we beat our pricing, we're looking at other options of maybe extending it to the intersection of Cree Road. Uh, if not, that would be the section next year. But it's uh, Thompson Drive South is a project for this year from Mystery Lake Road uh, towards Cree. Okay, thank you very much, Mayor Johnson. And just a reminder to the listeners, when you do call in on the show or on the radio at any point, please make sure you have your radio dialed down because we get feedback and we can never really understand what is being said. Thank you, Mayor Johnson, for joining us again this weekend. You can catch City Beat every Thursday from 11.30 to quarter to noon right here on 610 CHGM. We'll be back once again next week. Thank you. Thank you. City Beat will be back next Thursday morning at 11.30 with more of the Mayor.